Over the past few years, information and attention to the gut microbiota has literally exploded. There are new scientific publications coming out almost on a daily basis. The lay media is picking up these publications in order to educate the public about the role of the gut microbiome in health and disease. And even the White House recently made a formal commitment to fund research in this area. The AGA Gut Microbiome Center for Research and Education is really the virtual home for all of the activities of the AGA related to this topic. We focus on research in the field. Uh, we're intent on educating um, not only our members, but also patients in regard to information on the gut microbiota. We also interact with stakeholders, hoping to ensure that microbiota-based therapies that are coming out on a daily basis are both safe and effective for our patients. The AG Center for Microbiome Research and Education has been concerned for some time about the lack of an FMT registry for patients who have received such treatments. Typically, those patients uh, have had recurrent C. difficile infection and have received fecal microbiota transplantation, or FMT. What we don't know is if there might be untoward, uh, unanticipated effects of FMT that we aren't aware of. So the AGA applied for and was awarded an NIH grant to establish a national registry. In this way, those patients can be followed long term. Our center works with the AGA Research Foundation to support research in the gut microbiome area. We like to support investigators with new and novel approaches to studying the interaction of the gut microbiome with the human host. We support all types, all kinds of researchers, including those early in their career, as well as those more seasoned investigators who have been in the field for some time. The AGA Center is focused on educating not only members, but also patients in regard to gut microbiome. Last year at DDW, we held our first active learning session on this topic and have an exciting sequel planned for 2017. We will focus more on the non-bacterial members, viruses, fungi, etc., and educate our members of new technological approaches as well as computational analyses for determining the presence of these constituents uh, in the host. On our website, we have a collection of on-demand recordings so our members can educate themselves at their own pleasure uh, on these topics. We're working diligently to expand the information on the website as well. There is so much exciting information coming out daily and so much happening in this field that we're excited that the AGA Center for Microbiome Research and Education can be a platform for distributing this information. We look forward to these continued um, achievements and in publicizing those.